make it 2 4. Kick it on. Oh, kick it on. Oh, 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 they don't deserve to win the game with this sort of kick. Sturt, seven goals, 19. Nine points behind the Bloods, 10 goals, 10. Well, as that great commentator Wally May used to say quite uh, clearly, if you can't kick, you can't play. Jody Arnold has had one five. Well, Jody Arnold can't play then. He can't. Certainly can't play in that role of full forward as uh, the Blues have had plenty of possession of the football. Dudley Archie gets the ball. Leaders across there. Here's the opportunity now, though, for Mansell. Mansell runs it across. Hamilton's over there as well. He can't get to the footy. Out it comes to Andriski. Andriski's got the ball. Pokes it out the front for Hawkins to run at the footy. And Hawkins taking the mark. He's virtually in the centre of the ground, is uh, little Eddie. He booms the ball in towards the left full forward pocket. He's doubled it down. He's, what, 30 goals before this... Uh, 30 or 37. 37, I beg your pardon. It was 30 before the last game. He kicked seven against the Eagles. Took him to 37. So he's only uh, from his... That's from his eight games. He's only kicked two this afternoon. And uh, a third one here would make it pretty handy as his kick goes straight through. And Scott Sinister has brought up his third goal. So that's 40 for the year. And West Adelaide young themselves a slightly greater breathing space. West Adelaide 11 goals, 10, 76. That's a handy one. Leading Sturt 7 goals, 19, 61. And 13 minutes have gone in the last quarter. Central District 2 kicking away from Port Adelaide 10, 14. Centrals have kicked the last five goals. Port stuck on eight goals, nine. So looks like the Bulldogs will win that one out. At the end of the Adelaide have got a very handy break, 15 points in fact at the Adelaide Oval, they're looking quite good too, although Sturt, bad kickings, bad football, Barrett again, it's possession number 36, we'll keep calling him, N uh, Nelson, that's Ben Nelson, on the half-back flank, tries to get out the thread goal, but goes back after the football, now to Underwood, been impressed with Underwood this afternoon, played very well to Nelson, to Whitney, the defence has been good, and yet they still trail, now to the Pope, Pope from the 50, tips back towards Barrett, Barrett can do no wrong, cleverly out Adelaide, even though we're only halfway through the third quarter, they've got their confidence up. 12-10, the Bloods, Sturt, 7-19. And onto the ground uh, for West Adelaide goes uh, Sean Blythe, and coming off is uh, Timothy Symes. Timothy Symes would like to forget uh, this particular day. It hasn't been a good one for him. Just eight possessions for Symes today. Eight but if they win, he won't mind, surely. No, it won't make any difference at all to Tim Symes if they win. You're quite right about that, David. On the 21st of May... Tim Symes will not remember as the ball comes away now out of the centre. Picked up here by Patterson. In turn, a quick hand pass ends up with Ravisi. Back they go again. Loving in trouble, but he did quite clear. He had good vision there. Over it goes to Andriski. Andriski's kick goes towards Hockey. Little Eddie holds his ground. Did that pretty well, too. In fact, there is Shred Gold. He looks for a long hand pass to Whitney. Whitney is there. There'll be a further long transference towards Johns. Johns now from centre-half back has run the ball right towards that far side. He's had four bounces. He'll get tackled now, but he gets the hand pass in. Over it goes to Brooks. In turn to Richter. The vice-captain sets up Johns again. Johns has had another bounce. Onto his left foot and kicks it in towards uh, the ball in Jody Arnold. And Jody Arnold has marked the ball again. He plays on quickly. And this is dangerous. This is not good. I don't know what the clue about the stats are. Laurie uh, Conover will be out to tell you, tell us at the end of the game. But Sturt have had certainly no less possessions than West Adelaide, probably more. And they've just zigzagged the ball all across the ground. And on this occasion, it's out of play. Boundary throw in Patterson. Gets the ball down on that occasion of Morris. The kick wasn't good. The falling mark has been taken by Brooks. Justin Brooks. Well, there's no doubt about Hayden Bunton. He's a great teacher. You'd have to say that uh, you'd question his method. Well, they waste the ball. They, it's, it's always a query, question mark over Sturt. They waste the football. Brooks, there's his kick forward. Is that another point on the board or is it a goal? Umpire says it's a point. So they've cracked the 20. It's a 20 point mark, not 20 goals, Sturt. Seven goals, 20. They trail West Adelaide 12, 10, 82. 21 points the difference. And really, 
in fact, 20 points of difference. This is a game that's got away from them. Yes, it has. And the West Adelaide, though, are not taking a thing away from West Adelaide. They really do deserve to be in the position they are because they've been just pursuing and he's ju and they've just kept on competing. And uh, honestly, as the ball goes towards the far side of the ground, here's the opportunity now for uh, West Adelaide to take the ball towards the left half forward flank. Uh, hang on to six. We should have got a free kick. And uh, the, the, uh, the umpire, Kevin uh, Chambers, who has done very well this afternoon, missed that one. Simister pursues the football all the way to the boundary line and out of play. You've really got to say that Scott Simister really does contest, doesn't he? When the ball hits the ground, he's after it. Yeah, they're all over him too, Ian. Uh, he makes them work. Boundary throw in. Up goes Archie. What's he doing down there? Kick forward by Pope to across the far side. Wigney really has had the ball on a string. It's like a yo-yo. He's played very well as Wigney. Across now to Threadgold. He's also won his position. Chris Threadgold goes long and direct to the far side. Chandler there for West Adelaide. Tries to affect the spoil. Can't do so. Viney picks up the football. In pursuit, Chandler again. Somehow got it back towards Richter. Richter 60 metres out from goal. Now 55. Goes short. He'll look for Arnold. Jody Arnold picks it up on the half volley. In pursuit now is Goss. Back now towards Williams. Williams tucked away in the left full forward pocket. Fires towards goal. Getty shoots the bossy Weddle. Heads down Patterson. Good mark, Andrew Getty. And he's on a reasonably acute angle. Go back and have your shot. Why look for someone else? Not that difficult. Sturt, they're always looking for another option rather than setting their sights on the goals. He's only got to run around and pop it through three metres out on a fairly difficult angle. Get his kick on its way, and he's popped it through. Finally, Sturt have another goal. Plenty of the Blues. The balance is falling. They still try West Adelaide. 12-10, a margin of 14 points. Still plenty of time if Sturt can get back in the game. Oh, there's plenty of time for the Double Blues to get up and win this game. That's uh, 68 to 82. That's 14 points the difference. I think it might be beyond them, but you just never know. 18 minutes have gone in the last quarter. The major goal scorer in the game this afternoon has been Scott Simister with four. Just needs a couple more to keep his average up there. So he's kicked 41 goals for the year. Yeah, good effort too. Start of round two. As up they go. Leader it is that knocks the ball away. Loving just jogs along there, waiting for the easy ball to come out, but picking it up is uh, Clinton Mansell. He in turn transfers it over towards Andriski. Andriski takes the hand pass, runs forward. There's Simister. You can find it beautifully to Simister. He'll run into an open goal. Oh! Simister's upset with himself. He shook it up. Courage ran into Melor. He's deep in the back pocket. What about the tackle though by Johns on Sinister? Looked like a certain goal. Really was a, a big turnaround there. Threat goal. There's his kick up forward. He looked for Geddes in opposition to Patterson. Viney there also. It ends up with Patterson. Patterson goes out towards the safety of the boundary line. The ball wobbles left and then finally goes out to the right. Out of play on the far side. It's uh, West Adelaide leading. They lead by 14 points. 19 minutes have gone in the final quarter. Sturt, well, they've only kicked the uh, the one goal in this quarter, so they need to get three quick ones if they to snatch this game. And just updating other SNFL games, David, at Central Districts 11, 15, 81, has kicked right away from Port Adelaide, who are stuck on 8, 9, 57. Norwood, 7, 5, 47, are trailing Glenelg, 11, 11, 77. And the Eagles, 13, 6, 84, will not catch South Adelaide this week. South Adelaide, 18, 8, 116. Back to Adelaide Oval. Good result there. It turns Linnell, aren't they? Travelling smoothly there. Only the second win at the Norwood Oval, I think, in the last decade. Sutherland brings the ball across uh, towards Whitney. Whitney in turn. Transfers it off to Brooks to Sutherland. He was out on his feet, Sutherland, but he's still got time to kick the ball in towards Lena at the centre of the ground. Lena is marked. Still time for Sturt to win this game. Williams' kick goes towards the Salisbury. Couldn't take it. Knocked away. Chance now for the Blues to go forward again. They're battling for it. And the player that's trying to get hold of it too is that Copeland. Picked up there by Arnold. And there's a good relieving lead taken back there in defence by Loving. I still have a question mark about Loving's uh, ability to play on a half-back flank as a tight uh, checker. Up the way of Rabisi. Don't have a problem with Rabisi. He steps out of play, though, and so does the ball with him as hard as he tried to keep it in play. 21 minutes have gone. West Adelaide, the Bloods, I think will win their third game in a row, and that'll excite the supporters of West Adelaide. 
They'll be out in their droves as the ball comes up towards the boundary line and Andriski sees the ball hit his foot and go out of play. Yeah, Eight goals, 20 Sturt. 12 goals, 10 West. Sturt have really kicked themselves out of They've had 28 shots for goals. West Adelaide have had 22. As the ball comes back in, there's Barrett again. Battling for it. A magnificent game of football this afternoon by Chris Barrett. And uh, we don't have... Uh... Laurie's running out of paper to put his kicks down. <laughs> Oh, it's been a marvellous performance as uh, Sean Wren has been here watching the football too, of course. He's West Adelaide club, is his club. Corey Gray goes after it, running chases him. Corey Gray taps it along as well, gets some support. Now we'll get tackled, shrugs it off, gets onto his right foot, kicks it back, and there's Patterson to, across there taking the mark. Comes across towards the half-back flank, Barrett. Who else? Barrett, who's just a little bit of cramp starting to get into those legs of his. I could understand why, too, because he had so many possessions. Up to Andriski, who's been a very good achiever also, Andriski. He he's had a terrific game this afternoon. I reckon he's had a better game than he had last week, and that was a good one. Andriski on the half-back flank. Another quiet achiever. In fact, the blood's a bit like that. Up goes Hoffman. Tried to take a spin sack to the mark. Couldn't do it, and the ball was marked by Ben Nelson. Nelson's been good too this afternoon. The defence has been very good, Sturt, but as I said, they trail on the scoreboard. Here's another player that's done a right in Chris, Chris Williams. Life coming off and Timothy Simon's back on. Williams centres play. Goss gets it away from Arnold. Green, just a fraction slow. Picked up there by Copeland. Around the body he goes. The kick was wide and goes out of play right full forward pocket. Getting standing the mark. I reckon that bounced inside the line, though. So not very observant there from Andrew Giddies. There will be a boundary throw in. Bill Dudley Archie fourth through the ruck work. Over the top goes Williams, crashes the pack. Barrett in there still working particularly hard. Kick, quick kick forward there by Williams. He's out of playing the full this time. And the free kick will go the way of Andriski. His possessions, Laurie Andriski. Andriski's had 18 kicks and 12 hand passes. Gee, 30 possessions. It's a terrific performance by Andriski to be high up there with uh, in West Adelaide's best players. This is going to be a good win for West Adelaide as Symes goes up there, but he was three deep. Picked up here by Barrett. So what? Up towards the centre <laughs> wing. Here. Right. Andrew Underwood played well. Takes the mark, plays on quickly, gives it over to Threadgold. Threadgold in turn puts a long kick into it towards full forward position. And it's been marked back there by Chandler. Chandler in turn gives it to Ravisi. Ravisi, a little short kick goes towards Pope. And Pope has marked the ball on the right half back flank, outer side of the oval. He in turn changes direction, goes towards Chandler. Chandler uh, dropped it, but then recovered well. Kicks up towards the half-back flank. Up they go. Picked up uh, here by uh, Archie, is it? In towards the centre-half forward area. Goes. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't kick a lot of goals. In fact, he's played, uh, when he completes this game, it'll be 123 for a match career of 28. Sturt, nine goals, 20, 74. Still have time to win this football match. West Adelaide, 12 goals, 10, 82. That's only eight points for difference. And we will have at least, uh, let's see, 17, uh, about, or uh, not a lot, actually. Probably three to four minutes of play left. Hasn't been a lot of goals scored in this last quarter. Four goals in actual fact. Bounce down, lead it. And Sturt, they need another one and they need it quickly. Viney across the southern. The youngster's very tired, he's still working hard. Now to Gray. Gray wobbled the ball in the forward line. Beat Richter. Coming through as Williams. East provides a bit of a spark. Now in turn to Kenny. Thank you. 
Jones Barry. Two of his had six kicks and eight hand passes. Well, 14 possessions. Normally has 30 though. Yes, he does. And here's the kick towards the half forward flank. Across there is Sinister. Sinister juggles it. He's taken a bounce. He can kick with his left foot. He does do this now. He's kicked it out of three on the two. And the turnover is there for the Blues. It'll be taken by Treadgold. Time just started to tick away. Two points the difference, favouring West Adelaide. They uh, trail, they won, they led by a point at quarter time. They trailed by two points at half, and they led by a three, by 11 points at three quarter time. And they had a very, very healthy lead about five minutes ago, but the Bulls have just kept on keeping up. Because the clock is ticking by, he kicks the ball up towards a half back flank here. Across goes Filthy. Filthy goes down at the blind spot. Good as hard as Jock will back in there. The ball rolls out. No, it doesn't. And the uh, player there for West Adelaide appealing for the ball. But the umpire has got to come in and bounce the ball. Ron Ventridge, Kevin Chambers. Away goes that time clock. Two and a half minutes nearly have gone. Time off. As the ball goes up again. Up goes Filicalia. Grabbed across here by Pope. Simes. Simes could have made a hero of himself. Barrett's up there. He's rocked up getting kicks. Out it comes to Hamilton. Hamilton's kick has got good. The pressure was on. Little Eddie runs for the football. Has a look at his opponent. Nick gets carted out of play by Andrew Underwood. Underwood has been one of Sturt's best players this afternoon, along with uh, players like Sutherland and uh, Viney, Ops, Whitney, Justin Brooks. Back it comes to Hamilton. Hamilton with a short for Simes. Ball as we come up to three minutes of time on and uh, it looks to me as though young Pope will certainly kick the distance we'll have to wait on the accuracy now he has only got to kick at about 30 meters as he is taking plenty of time the time clock continues to tick away and young Pope lines them up He's not dead in front, but the angle's not very great. A lot of pressure on this youngster. In he comes. There. The top mark's got the skirt. Their black back is full of, uh, of great courage. But West Adelaide, 13 goals, 10, 88. Lead Sturt now by eight points, who are on 10 goals, 20, 80, 29 minutes have gone in the last quarter. A good effort there by Young Pope, put it through for a goal that uh, very much needed. Now, eight points of difference, 29 minutes gone, so perhaps only 30 seconds to a minute left in this game. Sturt a valiant comeback after trailing by 20 points in the final quarter. They've come back well. Lean it, down towards Geddes. Geddes now to Brooks. Brooks tackled high. Gets, feeds it back to a teammate there in Nelson. Nelson back towards Brooks. There's his kick in the forward pocket. Williams sets himself and should mark and does. Chris Williams played quite well. 50 metres out. Kick on its way. Geddes can get a leap in it. Oh, a bit of pushing and shoving there. Off hands and through for point. Whether they won't mind that. They can waste a bit more time. But that scoreboard for Sturt is 10-21. Seven points, a very entertaining game of football. Oh, it's been a terrific game of football, actually. West Adelaide do deserve to win there this uh, encounter this afternoon. But Sturt certainly showed a lot of character by fighting back in the concluding ten minutes of the last quarter. And you would have to say that uh, they're kicking for goal. They have had 31 shots of goal for 10 goals, 21. West Adelaide had 23 shots for goals for 13 goals, 10. So they were clearly outpointed, but of course, bad kicking is bad football. Now, for West Adelaide, their number one goal scorer for the year is uh, Scott Simister, and he added four to a total of 37, takes him up to 41 for the year. Two apiece to Miller, and uh, also singles to Symes, Mansell, and Drisky, Hockey, Pope, Davis, and Morris. And for Sturt, their goals were scored by Andrew Geddes kicked two and Jay Viney also kicked two. And listen to this, Jody Arnold had six shots for goal and could only kick one five. Dudley Archie just a single, Brett Lynch a single, as was Brooks and Brennan. So that's it.